there's some fish. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the boat review. Uh, finally picked up the boat last week and got it fully rigged up. Hopefully you've been enjoying the sonar videos I've been putting out in the meantime while I'm trying to rig everything up and actually speaking of rigging this up, I wanna talk about some sponsors this year that have really helped me out with this boat. So first, let's just do a quick rundown of what's on the boat. 2006, this is a 2006 Stratus 200 Pro XL boat. 2006 Evinrude E-Tech 225. Still has some pop left in her. Got it up to 63, still had plenty of gas left. I just didn't want to run while there's, well, there's no big boats out here anymore, but there's some bigger yachts pushing some four foot rollers and you don't want to hit one of those things going 60 plus. Battery package. Got some sponsors this year. Enduro Power. Lithiums, yes, that is a 200 amp hour battery. I'll talk about that in a little bit here. I got three 100 amp lithiums. One, two, three for the trolling motor. Got a four bank and a single bank charger. And then this was the uh, lead acid battery starting motor that came with it. But that thing is gonna be super helpful this year as I travel around. Film some cool footage for you guys, some cool videos. I'm doing some camping stuff this summer. At least that's the plan. Then we got our back storage. That's where I keep my camera gear and I just got some GoPro stuff in there now. And on this side, I think I just got some spare tackle. Yeah. Big, giant live wells. Absolutely giant, giant live wells. And yeah, I got four walleye in there. We got dinner. We got dinner tonight. All right, we got the dash. Turn this puppy back on. Thankfully, the old owner actually installed this, uh, this bracket mount. So I was able to get the Garmin 8610 XSV, which is full HD screen, super clear picture. So I can, when I do my sonar recordings, you guys are going to see great detail with this unit. Took my old uh, 12 or 1042 XSV off my old boat through there. And then I got my 1022 up there for live scope, but I mean, it's a basic Stratus. You got your switches, gauges, hot foot set up down there somewhere. And uh, it comes with a cooler that I'm using as a trash can right now, but this does come with a cooler, which my old boat didn't even come close to the storage of this stuff. Little day box, first storage kit, just some random tackle for now. bunch of my tackles in there right now rod locker starboard side storage compartment went and got the yellow tech we're definitely rigging this boat up for a much better filming experience this year and then up front beat down outdoors mount highly highly recommend this mount um, right now I got it set up for dual graphs but I see you can see I only have the one graph right now, but I think eventually down the line, I'm gonna set up another, either a 12 or a 10 for mapping or a live scope, I'm not sure which. Um, and then the Garmin Force trolling motor at the bow. So speaking of all this setup, let's talk about sponsors this year. I know it's a little quick rundown, but you guys have seen boats, it's nothing fancy. Um, it's a 20 foot boat, 20 foot one inch, I think. And uh, it's just so much better to have a 20 foot boat than my 17 and a half. The, the amount of storage in this is compared to that old 17 and a half foot. All the tackle I have in this storage unit right now, I wasn't even able to fit that in all of the storage units in, in my old boat. So, I mean, just so much more room to store tackle and, and rods and gear and camera gear and stuff like that. Um, it's gonna give me the ability to do some camping trips which is what I wanna do this summer. Uh, do some island camping and there's some islands on the river that I'm on today want to do something like that and, and do a little bit more traveling despite the fact that gas prices are going through the roof. I still want to travel a little bit within Wisconsin and Minnesota and do some camping trips. This boat's going to let me do that. Um, let's talk about what you guys saw back there. Enduro Power Batteries. Um, they're a lithium battery company based out of Castle Rock, Colorado. And I actually reached out to them because I saw uh, a kayak fishing tournament angler get sponsored by them. 
So that's number one, they support the fishing industry. Found out they actually sponsor the University of Tennessee bass fishing team, which is awesome. And uh, so you, I really wanna work with companies that are willing to put their money where their mouth is in terms of helping the fishing industry grow and helping anglers like myself or the, the tournament guys on the college circuit or the pro circuit really keep going, doing their thing. So as you guys saw in the back, there was three 100 amp lithium batteries. Uh, there's 12 volt lithiums wired together for the 36 volt trolling motor system for the Garmin Force. And uh, they're priced pretty competitively. I think those are 699, I wanna say, which when you look at, in the lithium marketplace, those are pretty competitive for 100 amp hour lithium batteries. They are super lightweight uh, compared to the old 31 size lead acid batteries I used to have in my old boat. I mean, these are the same size as the 24 series lead acid battery, like a 24 size, but I think they're half the weights of the 24. That 200 amp hour battery, I originally thought 100 amp might do it, but with the graphs that I'm using, the live scope, I might throw another live scope unit on here. Uh, on a separate pole off this side so you can kind of when you're on spot lock or anchor lock you can use a post type of system um, and then the other reason was i wanted to be able to charge all my camera gear gopros i wanted to be able to run on the boat um, if i needed to power an inverter to edit uh, videos with my laptop on the boat since i plan on doing some camping trips so i went with i asked if i could get that 200 amp hour battery that thing is a beast um, but the weight of it is still i think it is still less than a 31 size lithium or 31 size lead acid battery um, 31 size i had in my old boat i think were like 60 pounds i think this is like 49 pounds at 200 amp um, but huge thanks to them for sponsoring me this year uh, being able to get out in the water and do what i really want to do which is film videos for you guys and and uh, travel a little bit and these batteries are going to help me a ton What's attached to the batteries is uh, from a company right here called the Bass Tank. And I filmed a little short segment of installation, but I'll talk about it here. They sent me, uh, they really helped me out with all the Garmin stuff because all this Garmin stuff was on back order from the Garmin website. And I did get sponsored by Garmin this year as a Garmin ambassador. Um, so I was, I was hoping to get some cool gear to get set up for the boat, but the Garmin website at the time was like five to eight weeks out. Fortunately, the Bass Tank actually had stuff in stock like that that 8610 XSV you guys just saw and the Garmin Force trolling motor. So, so huge thanks to them for really helping out with that uh, the logistical problem of getting the gear. Um, but they make this thing called a power harness and they make a single or a double. I ordered the double and that's because I have grass both at the dash and at the bow. And basically what this is, is this one complete electrical wiring system um, they got these green little quick connects that basically you just put the wires in, screw them into this little green, like a cylinder. Um, it's super easy to undo if you want to add more electronics to it or uh, wire your trolling motor, foot pedal, or you know whatever you want. Um, but the main reason I, I knew I wanted to need something like that is one, it's, it's a clean electrical circuit. And if you really want a clean image on your graphs, Yes, you got to make sure your transducer is level and there's things like that, but you need a clean electrical circuit. Having your wiring hooked up to your starting battery, that's a surefire way you're not going to get a clear image on your graph, um, especially if your motor is going. That's why they make this system. It comes with a 30 amp breaker as well and a, a battery jumper, so it's super easy to connect. Um, I gotta, I'll have a short little video of installing it, but it's, it's super easy to install and connect all your graphs and anything else you need to connect. So huge thanks to them for, for being a sponsor and, and helping out not only with the Garmin units, but with their products. Uh, I also installed the Garmin lift kit for the, the foot pedal. Um, I'll show you guys that here. But so huge thanks to all them for making sure I can get out in the water and film videos for all of you. So, oh, got some deck lighting. I did install some deck lighting. Got the deck lighting. The one thing I did notice, it is, almost impossible to get wiring from like the back corner to right about here. So I want to put deck lighting on the back. I just don't, just don't know how to do it quite yet. But there's a few other things. I want to install a high speed transducer puck, like a through hull. Um, Cause right now when I get up on plane, my graph doesn't, doesn't work. The transducer's too high out of the water. But yeah, let's, uh, you guys want to maybe let's drive around show you the brand new transducer the gt56 
Oh my goodness, it is super clear, super clear. Let's actually just drive down. I'm gonna drive back to where I caught most of these walleye. I'll show you on the graph kind of what these fish are looking like. And they're just stacked up along this little break, break line. Walleye, sheephead, all different species. I've yet to find the crappie on the river. I always struggle like this early post-spawn phase. It's, they're very mysterious. Midsummer, they start going out to the, the brush piles and the cribs. They really stack up well, but right now it's a little tricky. Uh, one question I have been getting asked is why I've been getting, why I've started using the GPS map units over the Echo Maps. And uh, that's only because I film a lot. So if you go to your active captain, you can actually hit the helm button, helm, and it'll open up all your screens. So I got my, hold on, I'm gonna drive into, drive into the, don't wanna do that. So I got all my screens here. Got my 8610 there. I got my 1022, which is at my, uh, the bow. And then my 1042 right here, that screen. And you can record any one of the GPS map screens. So we're gonna start recording this for you. So you get a little bit clearer of an image. We just had a big yacht come by. But this GT56 with the mega imaging or the ultra HD imaging is Absolutely amazing. You can see there's a ton of fish out here. They're just all over the place. For those of you who don't know, this black area is directly below the boat. That's my 10 foot. And then the gold is to the left and right of the boat. So starting at 15 foot here, this is actually only showing 40 minus the 10 foot. So this is 30 foot left and right, really. But I'm looking for these shadows. These are some pods of, wall of walleye. There's some smallmouth up there too. I'm looking for these shadows in like three, four, five foot of water. Seems to be where the biggest pods are. It's a big old log right there. There's some, there's some fish scattered throughout this break. I'm gonna go back up to where I caught most of those other walleye though. Some big rock pile coming down onto the break. See, these are the rocks that break down and then this is that softer sand bottom that breaks towards the main channel here. And then there's some sunken timber. Unfortunately, there's not a ton of vertical timber because if there were, there'd be tons of crappie stacked up on them. Well, unfortunately, I didn't catch any more walleye that night, but appreciate you watching. Let me know if you want to see anything specific on the boat that I installed. This was just kind of a quick overview. Again, huge thank you to all the sponsors for helping me put this boat together. I'm looking forward to taking it out and doing a bunch of videos this summer, both camping, fishing, just having fun. Let me know if you got any comments or questions in the comment section below, or you can message me on either Facebook or Instagram. I always appreciate hearing from you. Good luck on the water this summer.